Hi everybody. I thought I'd make a quick instructional video about our Google Groups because I know there's been some confusion about just how to use them and where to find everything and just what works best in order to get all the information. And I know we have a lot of information, but I'm trying really hard to keep it user friendly for everybody. So um, if the video doesn't answer your questions, please email me and let me know what your questions are and I'll try to make a new video with all the supplemental answers. Thanks. Um, and then it's important to get onto whichever group you're going to be using, which will be MADCAP Performance Ensembles. So when you pull up your Google group, it should look like this. Now, you may not be signed in, in which case you're going to need to sign in in order to get to your groups. You can see that I'm signed in because my name and email address is up here at the top of the corner. Um, if you need to sign in, your window will look something like this. Now you can see by this screenshot that the uh, website is telling you that you don't have access to see any of the material in the Google group. I do keep that locked uh, because we were getting some inappropriate content sent by spammers um, earlier when it was a public group. So it is a private group and everything is protected, um, but that does make it a little bit more difficult for everyone to get into the group. So you just need to make sure you sign in and sign in using the same email. So here is your box where you just need to put in your email address and your password. This should be a Google account that you have created. It does not have to be a Gmail address, but it does need to be the same consistent email address and password that you use every time you log into the Google group. Um, and again, that's something that you develop on your own. It's not something I have any control over. Now that you've signed in, you finally will reach the home page. The home page has an icon of photo of our group performing. It lists the discussions and the first panel underneath are welcome. And then over to the right in the gray box, you will see the list of tabs that gets you to the different parts of our Google group. And that kind of highlights the different information we host on this uh, group website. So here I have just selected the discussions tab and you can see um, little previews of each of the emails that have gone out that arrive in your inbox. They're hosted on this Google site. So if there's anything you're missing that you may have deleted from your inbox, you can always go onto the Google group and look at it and uh, pull it up for yourself later. In trying to gather all of the information that might be necessary into the same place, I have uh, formed a group of pages that are under the Pages tab on the right, um, one of them being our FAQ page, and that should answer any questions you might have about um, what's going on and what to expect, and anything MADCAP-wise should all be on that. Here you can see I've pulled up the files. This is where all the music is hosted and also all of the imagery that we use on the um, various FAQ pages and such. Now I like to click by uh, the sort by date button in the right hand corner of the file listing that gives you the most recent things first and that's the easiest way to find the most recently uploaded music. Some of you may not visit the content on our website but may in fact get it delivered directly to your inbox. So here's a screenshot of what mine look like when they get delivered to my inbox here at Madcap. Um, and these messages are also always on the discussions portion of the Google group page if you should need to go back. Um, you may also have gotten in your inbox some of our juniors emails. These are um, emails that are delivered directly from the juniors website. They allow us to collect signups and organize our volunteers and donations and such to kind of help things moving and keep them moving as smoothly as possible around Madcap. Um, and if you ever want to sign up for something and you get a Juniors website, if you're having trouble getting through to the Juniors website with the sign up blocks, just shoot me an email and I can send you a personal invitation again. Sometimes they do bounce back to me, usually because I've had a typo in the address. Thanks again for watching, and I'm sure I've missed something along the way. So if you have any questions or if there's any portion of our website that you're finding unusable or our Google site that's not working for you, please send me an email and let me know. Thanks.